When I was first admitted to this facility, I was petrified. I didn't know what to expect. I thought you were going to hook me up to electrodes, fry my brain, or drug me. <laughs> but we just talked. Well, I guess I did most of the talking. It's been six months and here I am, Doc. I screwed up again. Did you think I'd be back? Did you think you'd be back here again? I see what you're doing, Doc. Clever. If not a little predictable. Turn it round to me. What would you like me to say? Say what you feel. An oldie, but a goodie. Say what you feel. 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 I didn't feel like I'd be back. But I guess I screwed up, eh, hey, Doc? Or well, that's what you'd like me to believe. That I screwed up in some way. Not you, the educated psychiatrist with his nicely framed diplomas. You were the one who signed the release papers. Clean bill of health. Cured of all my, shall we say, problems. But I wasn't all nice and shiny, cured. And I knew it. But you, you with all these nicely framed diplomas, let me out of here. And this time, this time I killed. I hope you're not too disappointed. Not at all. It is traditional Mancunian cuisine. <laughs> and it's my favourite. Really? Really. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come here for the food. Well, I did say that I'm not much of a cook. You have other strong points. Oh yeah? Mm. Like what? I don't know. Taste in women? <laughs> <laughs> Not always. So what is it you like about me then? What's not to like? What I don't understand is what a lovely woman like you is doing here with a bruiser like me. Well, a lady can't assist a man with sweet and sour pork balls. <laughs> Whatever. Don't use that tone with me! Oh, bah. You'll double ground me. Do you enjoy making a spectacle of yourself like that in front of James? There we go. That's the real reason, isn't it? Not the fact that I drunk myself unconscious, but the fact that James saw me. That's not what I meant. There it is. He's all you care about. We worry about you. I don't want James to worry about me. I don't want him to have anything to do with me. You know, you could give him a chance. What? Like you gave that a chance? That's completely different. Why? Because you haven't kicked him out yet? I never kicked your father out. Then where is he? Why won't he answer me calls? I just want to tell him that I'm sorry. Look, love. You've got nothing to apologise for. My dad hates me. He hates me because I stay with you. I know he does. I just want to tell him that I love him. And I'm sorry. He doesn't hate. He couldn't hate you. But why would he answer my calls? 